Okay. This isn't going to work, is it? As soon as it's got any load on it, it just just wants to tear. Okay. Right. Let's start again. I've just put this generic rubber on here, but this is working okay. But at least it shows I've got a possibility of being able to get the glass back in. This is the um, the rubber, so I'm going to trim this here. theory anyway because I've got to judge it so it can be joined onto the the other piece I don't like that I'm gonna cut it off here Well, I just want to leave a little bit extra there because the way I've, I've trimmed the other one. Unfortunately, I've only got this one piece. If I got a longer piece, I'd redo the other side a bit longer. Let's cut it slightly long. Okay, so I'm going to put plenty of soap around this because I struggled the last one. Put some around the opening as well. Okay, well the bottom piece is actually in, so let's tease the wire out. Oh, not quite sure what's happened there. What's going on? Ah, you all saw that coming, didn't you? Okay. Let's leave that like that. <coughs> Let's leave... Get that up my nose. Let's see if I can just tease that. Improvisation there, <laughs> wedge that tub of stuff in there. Okay, as long as your rubber's in, good Nick. This seal, we, I tend to call it a rubber, but no sniggering at the back. See, this is, I only bought this about a year ago, so it's nice and supple. That's better.
because it's really annoying when you split it. Oh, come on. I think the window needs to come this way a bit. like on a tire in it when you got that last bit that takes a bit of pushing there she comes tease it out there you come come on there you go lovely now I think I can bump it again that way that's it get it seated properly I don't know what's, what it is, but unless it's just that time of year or something, but it's not a bumblebee's about. A little bit annoying that I've got a tiny gap there. I kind of added some extra on, but not enough, obviously. Okay, good, nice. Bit of character to the glass. Oh, at least I got the glass back in. That's the important thing, isn't it? I've just got my um, piece of cloth and kind of rub the rubber in that direction. Like that. I've got this rubber and pulled it in this direction. And they have actually butted up there, look. Pretty close. So. I'll just pull that back and put some super glue down. Okay. Gives me a load of nonsense. There we go. Is it coming out? Yeah, there, there you go. Grab me on. Grab me finger. Okay. Gonna have to do in it. I mean, compared to how it looked before, it <laughs> can't be too bad. <laughs> things that I've done sometimes. Hey, that's not bad, is it? I was making the best of a bad job. Right. 
right. Okay. Nice. One out, two out, one broke. I've got another one of these which I'll probably use and I'll get that out at a lighter date and this can go with the other truck. For the I had to, I poked the screws through from the other side and um, I just rested the bar against the screws and just put this mallet against the bar and I was just able to get that screw to start, the one in the middle, screwed it from the other side. The thing is, I put my hand on the dash, and I didn't know, but there was some wet super glue there, and I glued my finger to the dash. Panicked a bit, and uh, it's okay, but you know, it shows you've got to be careful, don't you, when, when you're using that super glue. Okay, I'll try and get some of the others, see if the other screws will start. up on them bolts there. Oh, that's it. Right then. Things like this, because they, they never want to go on exactly as they... Where's the hole there for that? Do that, and you think you broke the glass? This looks a bit new to me, so might have been changed at some point. Okay. So I'll do a quick walk around of the finished job just to conclude the video. So here's the window, all is cleaning up, the rubber's all in place, the bar's in place, this is the bar from the other truck but it's the best one I've got at the moment. Um, and I think to be honest it looks okay. I mean the main purpose was to, you know, stop it leaking so it remains remains to see what it's like when when it rains um, the bars pulled into the top a bit and the bottom but I think that's how it's supposed to be there's a slight join there and a slight join there. Well, you know, there's a join there and a join there, which don't look too bad. I could always put a bit of RTV in if I find that there's a leak. I'm happy to stick with the patinated glass for now. If this truck ever gets restored properly, it can all have new glass. I've got patterns for the glass. I've actually got two sh new sheets of glass. I could have put those in, but I thought I'd stick with these for now. 
I'll give them a good clean up anyway and uh, get them looking better. And on the inside, I've got the garnish mouldings back in. The centerpiece off the other truck and the, the garnish mouldings are all in. They're probably blown out because of the light. But a couple of screws missing at the top because there's no metal behind them to screw to. Oh yeah, yeah, look, you can see rust up there, see? Never noticed that before. Oh well. You, you know, you, you learn something new about your vehicles when you start taking them apart, don't you? So now I can sweep all this out and I can paint the floor and if I've more or less stopped the leaks or, you know, oh, the cowl vent is the next thing, isn't it? Once I've stopped the leaks, which will include the cowl vent, I, uh, I can put some some rubber mats down or something not carpet but you know rubber rubber mats so that'll be the last part of the job anyway so basically yes quite a good day's work there getting those in so not just remains to tidy up and uh, start editing the video which will have already been edited, of course, if you're watching this. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to click like. And subscribe. Anyway, there's the truck. With both the doors wide open. I think it's a great looking truck. It is a great looking truck. That's why I want to preserve it as it is without it getting any worse and then who knows down the line it can have a proper proper makeover. Okay then. Cheers then. Bye.